So this question is a diagram question. It provides a table for us to reference as we answer the question. So in this table, um, let me just write that down. So we have a table. Anytime you have a table, my suggestion is that you read the title. So in this case, it says annual budgets for different programs in Kansas 2007 to 2010. Uh, we, that you look at what's the information provided within the table itself. So we have programs and then we have uh, different years. And then we knew from the title that all these values are annual budgets, right? And then lastly, any information that's beneath the table. So in this case, it says the table above lists the annual budget, so we knew that, in thousands of dollars, so that we did not know. For each of six different state programs in Kansas from 2007 to 2010, so we knew that as well. So now I'm, I feel pretty good about understanding what's in this table. Now I'm going to actually read the question. So the question says, of the following, which program's ratio of its 2007 to 2010 budget, so I'm just write that down in my notes, 2007 over 2010 ratio. Don't forget, on this test, anytime you see the word ratio, think fraction, okay? We're not going to do this type of ratio on this test. You will never have to solve a question that way. It'll always be fraction form. So I know that the fraction I'm looking for is budget um, 2007 versus 2010 budget. I want that budget to, I want that ratio to be closest to the human resources, okay, so HR um, programs ratio of its 2007 to 2010. So ratio for human resources for 07 to 010, use a different color. So 2007, I have this number. 2010, I have this number. So if I just go straight to my calculator now to figure out what that ratio is, I can divide 4, 0, 5, 1, 0, 5, 0, divide it by 5, 9, 2, 1, 3, 7, 9, and I'm going to get 0 0.684. Um, so that's the, that's the human resources ratio. The question that I'm being asked to find out is which one of these other four gets closest to it. So I'm going to start off with agriculture, right? So use a different color. So agriculture, I have my 07 number, my 2010 number. So let's try that. So I have three in my calculator, 373904 divided by 488106. And there I get 0 0.76. So for education, I have these two numbers here. So I'm going to put that in my calculator, 2164607 divided by 3008036. And that gives me 0 0.72. So I'm already going to cross that out because 0.72 was closer to 0.684. Don't forget, that's what we're trying to figure out. Then for highways and transportation, switch back to green. I have these two values here. So I'll throw those in my calculator. So I have 1468482 divided by 1773893, which gives me uh, 0 0.83, which again, I'm gonna cross that out because 0 0.72 is closer to 0 0.684. And then lastly is the public safety, where I have these two values here. So I'm gonna throw that in my calculator. So 263463 divided by 464233, and that is 0 0.5, let's call it seven. All right, so 0 0.57 is below, so 0 0.57 is below my 0 0.684, and I have 0 0.72 above it. But it looks like 0 0.72, right? So 0 0.72 was only 0 0.04, away, whereas 0 0.68 to 0 0.57 is 0 0.11 away. So 0 0.72 is closer to 0 0.684. So therefore, um, education is the best answer. So hopefully that made sense. I know there's a lot of calculator work there, so not a lot of visual on-screen work, but hopefully it made sense. Keep in mind, this is the key. When you see the word ratio, it's always going to give you the numerator first, right? So 2007, 
the denominator second, 2010, and you're always going to look at it in terms of a fraction. Got it? Got it.